Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Richard here with The Farm Life. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Um, if you can hear in the background, we got some kids that I want to show you and we got some other things that I just kind of want to show you. So if you haven't already subscribed and by the time we get to the end of this video, if it's something you, you like and are interested in, go ahead and hit that like button. So let's just head over to the kidding pens and check out the kids that we have this this year so far so let's go check them out all right <clears throat> she's got them up dried off he's getting under there trying to get some of that colostrum it's very important that they get that in their systems as soon as they can he's starting to get a little frustrated but he'll figure it out i think she's getting ready to lay down and have another one but We'll just keep an eye on him for a minute to make sure he gets up under there and latches on and gets some colostrum. So we'll just keep an eye on her a little bit longer. Alright, we got a lot going on right now. This doe kitted two nights ago. She has a single buck. This doe kitted la last night, or the night before. She had two solid white does but for some reason she's rejecting the other one so we got her in the house right now and we're bottle feeding her we're bringing her out every once in a while and locking the doe up in this head catch and letting her nurse hopefully she'll take her here in a few weeks or a few days we're thinking maybe she's just stressed out because she's a first time mom I'm not sure what to do with the two kids so she's pushing one off got this doe that's loaded up she should be kidding anytime I thought she was gonna kid sooner but she hasn't yet we got this doe kind of penned up um, we're running out of space I gotta get some more built but she is currently in labor she's got some discharge hanging out so she should be having them any moment now so we're just gonna keep waiting on her um, and then we have this doe over here that I wasn't expecting the kid so soon, but came out in the barn and there she was. So she just barely kitted a few days or a few minutes ago. She got two bucks on her. Really good mom, got them out, cleaned up. All on her own, didn't even have to help at all. So we got her in a makeshift pen right now. It's kind of funny because while she was on the ground laboring with the second one and the first one was out this doe over here that's in labor right now was over there licking off the other one for her so they are kind of tag teaming that but she's ready to have her own baby so we're just going to keep an eye on her as you can see she's already baby hungry she's wanting to get across and get those ones that are already born but you gotta have your own mama so we're going to wait for her <laughs> Uh, push those babies out and then keep an eye on everything else Coming out checking three or four times a day Because you never know with these things so We're just gonna keep an eye on things and we'll bring you an update in a little bit All right, it's been a couple hours We got the doe moved over to had kids earlier today and this doe is in heavy labor now so she should start pushing any minute and hopefully we'll get a few kids out of her here before long she's pretty miserable right now but hopefully everything goes smooth for her so let's just keep an eye on her and We'll go from there. She ended up having one pretty good sized buck kid. I thought she was going to have more, but she seems to be finished up with just that one. So, uh, if you can see from her bag, she has a whole bunch of milk. And with only one kid on her, and then we had this other one I told you about that the mom kicked her off. We ended up taking her on to this one to try to graft her on, so we just took the afterbirth from her and rubbed it on the one we were trying to graft on to her and then let it under there to nurse. And looks like we have a 
successful graft. She's a really good mom. It looks like she's going to take this one too. So she'll be able to take care of both of these. She's got plenty of milk for it. And um, since she's still got a, such a full udder, I'm going to get under there and we're going to milk out some of that colostrum. It's good to have extra colostrum on hand if you need it. So I'm going to milk some of that out of her. Those babies don't need all of that. And she's just engorged right now and it's kind of hard for that new baby to nurse off of her udders because there's just so much in there so I'm gonna milk some of that out to relieve some of the pressure and help them out with nursing and we'll just keep going from there it's a kind of a chilly night We've got all the heat lamps going hopefully everything will be all right we ended up just shutting the door and locking the rest of the does in here just in case and you then decide to kid so Hopefully everybody's kidding is going good. So far we're doing all right. We've got a lot of bucks, a couple of does. So we're just gonna keep plugging away. So like the video and if you haven't already, subscribe and we'll keep bringing you more videos about the kids. So until the next one, thanks guys.